in respect of the killing of Hajira Courage. The evidence shows that Milan Lukic searched for Hajira Courage among a group of women and children who were fleeing. Once he found her, he singled her out and shot her at point-blank range. He was laughing when he turned her body over with his foot and shot her in the back. In relation to the Uzamnitsa camp, the evidence shows that both Milan Lukic and Sredeo Lukic were opportunistic visitors to the camp. Although Sredeo Lukic came to the camp less frequently than Milan Lukic. When at the camp, both Milan Lukic and Sredeo Lukic severely and repeatedly kicked and beat the detainees with their fists with truncheons, with sticks, and rifle butts. Several victims testified before the trial chamber about these brutal beatings and the grave injuries and permanent injuries they sustained and the suffering they endured. Milan Lukic presented alibis for the Drina River, the Vada Factory, Pioniska Street, Bikavats, and the Uzamnitsa Camp incidents. The Drina River and Vada Factory alibi is that Milan Lukic was in Belgrade and Novi Pasar in Serbia from the 7th to the 10th of June, 1992. The trial chamber has found that the alibi suffers from a number of glaring inconsistencies and has held that the evidence of two key witnesses, MLD-1 and MLD-10, is lacking in credibility. MLD-10 also testified in support of the alibi for the Bikavats incident. That at the end of June 1992, Milan Lukic was in Ruiste for three or four days. Also in this respect, the trial chamber has found MLD-10's evidence to be wholly unreliable and particularly damaging to MLD-10's credibility overall was the credible and reliable evidence of Hamdia Village that MLD-10 received payment in exchange for false testimony. Milan Lukic's alibi for the Pioniska Street incident is that on the 13th to the 15th of June, 1992, he was deployed as a reserve policeman in Copito. The trial chamber has found that the evidence of witnesses who are fundamental to the alibi as a whole notably MLD-4, MLD-7, and Goran Jarich exhibit discrepancies on matters central to the alibi. The trial chamber has also found MLD-4's and Goran Jarich's evidence to be unreliable. There was little evidence advanced in support of the alibi for the Uzamnitsa detention camp charges. 
according to which Milan Lukic was imprisoned for some of the relevant time. The trial chamber has found that Milan Lukic's imprisonment for some time in the spring of 1993 and possibly 1994 has no bearing on the evidence showing that he beat the detainees because it does not correspond to the same time period. Swedeo Lukic presented alibis for the Pioniska Street and Bikovac incidents. In light of its majority finding that the prosecution has not proved beyond reasonable doubt that Swedeo Lukic was present at the Bikovac incident, the trial chamber has not made any findings in relation to the alibi for the Bikovac incident. In relation to the alibi for the Pioniska Street incident, which is that Swedeo Lukic met Verlub Zivkovic and Branimir Bukaski in Obrenovac, Serbia, in the evening of the 14th of June, 1992, the trial chamber has found that aspects of the evidence presented are implausible and that the evidence of Zivkovic, a key witness, is neither credible nor reliable. For each incident where an alibi has been presented, the trial chamber has considered the evidence as a whole. That is, the evidence led by the prosecution and the evidence led by the defense and found that the alibi is not reasonably possibly true. In particular, the chamber has rejected the alibi for the Drina River and Vada factory incidents as a cynical and callously orchestrated artifice. The Chamber has concluded that the prosecution has proved beyond reasonable doubt the relevant charges. A very large body of evidence was presented of other crimes that were committed in Visegrad during the indictment period. including specific instances of murders, rapes, and beatings, some of which were allegedly committed by Milan Lukic and Swedeo Lukic. A significant proportion of this evidence, including several incidents of rape, was presented by the prosecution for the purpose of rebutting the alibis presented. As Milan Lukic and Swedeo Lukic have not been charged with any crimes arising out of these incidents, the trial chamber has not made any determination of guilt in relation to them. The perpetration by Milan Lukic and Swedeo Lukic of crimes in this case is characterized by a callous and vicious disregard for human life. The chamber has found that Milan Lukic personally killed at least 132 Muslim people. In early June 1992 and within a matter of days Milan Lukic summarily executed 12 Muslim men at the Drina River with indifference and deliberateness. He
carried out the cold-blooded murder of Hajira Courage in a flippant and cavalier manner. 